I'm Brenda Mahoney with ACMI News, and today I am joined by Kristen Chalmers of Kristen Chalmers Photography. She's a photographer in Arlington and took it upon yourself, Kristen, um, mm -hmm. to go around town during this pandemic and capture some images, images of the residents of town, frontline workers. I think I saw a pharmacist, some grocery store workers, a firefighter, and then also just folks going about their days. And mm -hmm. I saw a lot of smiles there as well. Tell me about what you captured. I think what I really captured was the essence of what living in a smaller town is like, even though we're in proximity to Boston. I always say that Arlington is more of a town of Boston, not a suburb. And just going about my daily life, because you still have to do certain things. I don't have a lot of work right now, so I was like, this will keep me creative. And I found that it also helped relieve anxiety as well as relieve some anxiety with the people in town. And there was, I found a connection happening as I was photographing. What was your approach first off? How did you get an image like this? Get someone to stop, take a look at you, take a look at the camera and show themselves as they are in that moment. Well, he was one of my favorites. Um, and this was actually the second day I kind of decided to do this. And when I posted him, on my page, a few people were like, I know that guy, I know that guy. And you can tell he's smiling even though his mask is on. It and that was something, eyes. Yeah. yes. And, and I definitely, I never ask people to smile. But one of the things I noticed as you look at all of the portraits is people just kind of did it. What inspired you to go out and then just capture folks in town? Well, it started, I live in a really great small community in Turkey Hill, and it's kind of like definitely still kind of like the 70s. Everybody knows their neighbors, kids run out and play all the time. They don't come in until the streetlights go on. And I wanted to do something nice for my neighbors. So it started with that, just taking my neighbor's portraits, said, oh, I think I'm onto something because I posted them, my business page, and I shared them to the Arlington Facebook list. I think I got 13,000 hits that day just from community members. So it made me realize how big our tiny town is. And connected as well, because yes. I'm seeing people I recognize. Yes. <laughs> uh, neighborhood wise, we're not too far apart. I love this one. This it must be a pharmacist. That is at Walgreens in, um, in Arlington Heights. One of the really great things I noticed, especially on the second day I worked, was there is diversity in Arlington. You just, don't see it enough. And so that was my goal too when I started taking these pictures was showing the diversity in our town because you don't really know it's there until you see it. You know, and I think that people getting to know their neighbors, which is everybody in the community, are realizing that too. I'm hoping there will be a huge shift from this experience for many people as far as how we live our lives, how we could be more connected now. When you take those things away from people, you realize how much you need it. I love the smiles and the feeling of hope. You know, it, 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 is, it is dark times, but there's feeling of hope and also feeling of that we just accept this. You know, if you were to ask someone about, um, you know, what it was like, in, you know, World War II and coming back and, and so forth, and we look at it as, wow, I can't believe you endured that. And I think that's how mm -hmm. people are going to look at this. You know, I can't believe you endured that. But when you're in it, you just accept it and you do you the best do. you can. Right. My family is taking it really easy and getting up when we want. And, you know, for us, it's about keeping our home life stress-free because it's such a stressful time. And a lot of people, see, what gave me the most hope was just seeing all these families together and nobody forcing anybody to do anything and families wanting to be together. They're all just out and being. They're not, they're not overachieving anymore. They can't. If we take anything away from this besides maybe fixing the healthcare system and giving teachers and all the people on the front lines the money and credit they deserve, I feel like there is a really good lesson to be learned from all of this as far as what's important and what's not. Maybe learning how to work, uh, we're going to work to live now instead of live to work. Thank you for sharing this with us. And and where can people oh, sure. see the entire uh, you know, everything that you've, you've, you've taken. They can go to my website, which is, I have two, but the one that the galleries live on is www.kristenchalmersphoto.com. It's not hard to find if you go into my website. Thank you so much, Kristen, for um, 
you know, sharing these excellent, you know, just inspiring photos. On behalf of ACMI News, I'm Brenda Mahoney. <laughs>